I bought this really cheap E46 coupe for only 1,500 euros and it suffice to say that in 2024 you're no longer getting a lot of E46 for your money. The guy that I bought it from was a really nice guy and he bought it, already partially gutted and then gutted the interior some more. One of the rims is completely cracked, the tire loses air. The car had a small accident at the rear where they just bondoed over it. Fortunately, the signs of the accident don't go up too far because there's a huge dent and there's no bondo that would have split, so yeah, we're fine. I still have to reinstall some lights. Like I said, the interior is completely gutted. There's nothing in there, no AC because the condenser is here. Yeah, <laughs> it's a mess. I got the new radiator because the old one is leaking and a few uh, service parts like oil filters and fuel filters. But yeah, I'm just gonna show you the interior. I mean, it's just in a horrible state. There's a lot of things missing that I need to buy. And yeah, the overall condition of the car can be safely described as a two out of 10, I think. I've got some new uh, tractors though. These don't even have a lip and they are the AT power disc brand. So these are really good. And this is the engine, the Mighty M54. Unfortunately, it's only the 2.2 liter version, but yeah, uh, also it runs like shit. We're gonna check the oil quickly because I haven't even driven the car. It just got loaded up onto the trailer and then immediately back to my house. So I have no idea what's going on. I just gave it a quick look around, but there's a lot to do. I know it already. Some aftermarket angel eyes. I'm gonna rip these out because I have no idea how they were installed. I like angel eyes, but uh, these are not the good ones. These are like the multiple LED ones. I like the cloudy ones. So we'll retrofit those again. Um, when it comes to other things, I think this car is already starting to rip out the subframe mounts because it was a track car after all. And yeah, it's in a bad state, so. We'll have to see how that goes. Also, I think the exhaust has been messed with because I can't imagine a stock car being so loud. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a lot of squealing. I think there's a massive vacuum leak somewhere because it runs a bit irregular. The track engine light is on and the oil light is on. So I'll be dropping the oil pan and welding on the nut to the oil pump. Yeah, there's a lot of warning lights. Usually the oil pressure light stays on, so we'll have to investigate that. And yeah, there's just a lot to fix, you know? Standard BMW things. I pretty much know what the oil lamp is for. Either the sensor is faulty or it's this piece. This is the oil check valve of my old E46, which I changed because it too was faulty. And the M52TU and M54 engines suffer from that. This is yet another faulty construction from BMW because it is made out of metal and fiber reinforced plastic. And it's not the plastic that fails, rather it is the metal because the plastic is fiber reinforced and really strong. So the plastic eats away at the metal and it lives in the oil filter housing. So the oil pressure light stays on for longer because overnight the oil drains back and then there's no oil pressure upon startup for like the first 10 seconds, so that's bad. We need to fix that ASAP. Unfortunately, this part is not available to the BMW, and the only aftermarket seller that I know of that has good quality has it on back order for the next two months, so we'll have to wait. Quickly gonna check the oil level. It's not even on the oil dipstick, so we need to fill that up. So this engine is definitely burning oil. Also, it appears that there was a mouse is so in here because there's acorns everywhere. I'm just gonna blow that out quickly. I already placed a huge parts order and unfortunately the seller gave me a few service parts like CCV system, fuel filter, etc. And uh, that means I have a few extra parts. I'm just gonna keep them because this is definitely not the last M54, M52 TU that I'm gonna own. I'm gonna read out the ECU. We do have a check engine light that stays on. So I need to check. As you can see, the oil light also stays on. Oh, okay. The car had a crankshaft sensor problem, so these were already replaced. So there's a fault for that. But uh, I think we can delete that. 
mixture to reach on bank one and bank two and to lean on bank one and bank two. So there's definitely an air leak. I'm just gonna delete these because I know there's an air leak. So we'll have to track down an air leak, I guess. Probably gonna be the CCV, vacuum lines or intake boots. There's many things that can cause air leaks on M54. So we're gonna address all of that in a future episode. For now, I'm just gonna clear the coats. Nice. <clears throat> Also, it doesn't start instantly, which is weird for a gasoline-powered car. And the check engine light is gone. Now we just need to fill up the blinker fluid. Yeah, something just happened. I just wanted to move the car to clean it, and it just shut off while it was running. And now it doesn't want to start. Since the gas light shows us that there's pretty much no fuel left, I'm just going to fill that up and hope it was that as a cause. Fortunately, we always keep a bit of go-go juice in a canister at home, so... Ah, this is really blocked. Ay ay ay. Ah, aftermarket fuel cap. Great. What a treat. And by treat, I mean what a piece of shit. Da -da -da -da. Nobody's gonna believe me this, but I hate the smell of petrol. Weird, right? This is a very weird situation because I've never had M54s, M52 TUs that didn't start. So, I'm confused. Yeah, um, I'm gonna check just quickly if we have fuel pressure, that's really easy. Once the beauty cover is a bit out of the way, you can just unscrew the bleeder nipple right here. Then you can take a screwdriver and push on the valve stem inside. If you've got fuel shooting out everywhere, you've got fuel pressure. Pretty much no fuel pressure, so that's definitely not enough. Um, I'm just gonna go to the gas station, get a bit of new petrol, and then we'll try again, because it makes no sense that the car ran okay-ish and started good, and now doesn't even want to start. So I think we definitely have a fuel-related issue since there's no pressure on here. And without pressure, no fuel delivery. I think this is it for today's introduction video. We're going to continue with the troubleshooting in the next episode and also we're going to give the car a quick wash because it is fairly disgusting. Uh, thanks for watching. If you want to keep up with the build series, please subscribe. There's a lot more interesting stuff to come. Also, small spoiler, I bought a BMW So there's more interesting content to come. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See ya.